A beautiful July day here in the Motor City of Detroit as you look uh, toward the downtown sector from the Detroit River and we're talking Mid-American Conference football with you here on ESPN3 and it's uh, time to swing into Western New York and take a look at head coach Jeff Quinn and his Buffalo Bulls. They finished strong in three of the last four last year and Khalil Mack and that uh, Bulls wrecking crew defense had a lot to do with that as defensively they proved to be uh, very, very prominent as uh, the season went on. And we're joined by the head coach of the Buffalo Bulls, Jeff Quinn. And why don't we talk to one of the most uh, outstanding search and destroy linebackers mm -hmm. in all of college football, Khalil Mack. Jeff, great to see you. And again, as last season ended, you did finish strong. You won three of four. Defensively, you're among the best in the conference. How did that help catapult your football team into the offseason and into what you expect from them in 2013? Well, I was real pleased the way these kids finished because there was two ways we could have went last year, and we were able to stay together, and this, this, that, that ball club battled last year. And uh, what it did is uh, made for a very interesting winter conditioning and spring ball. Uh, these kids understood what it took to win some games, but now what we need to be able to do is show how we can capitalize on being a championship football team this year. Yeah, You know, uh, Jeff, obviously uh, you had a lot of work to do at Buffalo when you started. Now, this is your fourth year. Mm -hmm got a lot of great players coming back. You've really set the tone defensively. Lou Tepper, mm -hmm. uh, bringing him in had to be a big help. But retaining this guy, I mean, th that's your best recruiting job uh, last year, no question about that, because uh, he had a lot of opportunities in front of him, and it's got to make you feel wonderful that he chose to be loyal and come back for a senior year. Absolutely. You know, Khalil is a great competitor, but uh, more importantly, he knew he didn't uh, achieve all his goals that he set forth when he came to Buffalo. And uh, one of the things that I always said, I said we brought back our number one player on our team, but we also signed our best recruit. And I went down to Florida, flew down there, spent some time with his mom and dad. And, and once I knew Ma was hooked that uh, he hadn't earned his degree yet, uh, I knew Khalil was coming back for his fifth year at the uh, University of Buffalo. Uh, well, Khalil, what about that? I mean, coaches have shown all of the sides that got you hooked, but for you, what is uh, the most significant thing that you want to accomplish with your defense? We show that last four games of the football season, you, you guys were stout, but where do you want to take it? Where do you want to go, and what are you trying to impart on your defensive teammates with that? Well, we're looking forward to going to a whole nother level, um, especially defensively, playing with guys like Naja Johnson and uh, Courtney Lester and Lee Skinner for so long. We, we put in a lot of time with each other, and we have a very experienced group. And um, we're looking forward to playing at the highest level this year um, and looking forward to winning the MAC championship. Khalil, you know, I, I, I'm an old 3-4 NFL defensive <laughs> coordinator, and, and Michael and Coach can tell you, every game that we do that you play in, I say, man, I wish I could coach that guy. <laughs> you are a prototype uh, outside 3-4 linebacker, fit the Coach Tepper system perfectly. You like to rush the passer or cover? Come on, be honest now. <laughs> I know what he's going to say. I know where this is going, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the rush the pass. There you <laughs> go. Shocking. That's shocking. shocking. Yeah. I like shocking. the rush the pass. We don't like to give the quarterback too much time. Uh, you do a great job of <laughs> that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jeff, uh, as Coach said, now this, this is your number four. So virtually almost every young man that uh, puts on the Buffalo Bulls gear is one of yours, one of you recruited. So you're getting to that point. Uh, how much can that make a difference? How much can that change the standard from where you want it to be? Well, I think a lot of it, it goes back to our coaching staff, no coaching change. So there's consistency and continuity in our message and how we plan on developing our football program and each player individually. And these kids have really bought in uh, to that philosophy. And that's where, uh, you know, like I said, last year we were able to secure some wins. Now what we need to be able to do is take that to a whole different level. Uh, but I know our coaching staff understands who our personnel is and they know who we are and I think it's going to be very fitting for us to open up against two quality opponents sure. and, uh, and as we get ready to compete against a great MAC conference. Coach, uh, you know, I do some consulting work with the Buccaneers. I live in Tampa. Mm -hmm. You'll both be happy to know that Stephen Means is doing very, oh, very yeah. well on their Jesus training that. camp and Thank I know you're all that. pulling for yeah. him. Going to offense, though, okay, the mm -hmm. quarterback position has been kind of back and forth a little bit. Uh, Lakata, Zordich, 
uh, Lakata now the number mm -hmm. one, or where does that stand? Yeah, right after the uh, the spring uh, workout session, you know, we I made it uh, clear uh, that Joe's going to have the chance at the first snap against Ohio State. Uh, but we need both of these young men. Yep. Uh, you know, and sometimes uh, two is uh, too many, and five is never enough. You know, when we played, <laughs> uh, you know, when we were coaching out of Cincinnati, we played a lot of quarterbacks. But uh, every single member of our football team understands their role and responsibility, and it's still going to be competitive during fall camp. Uh, uh, there's going to be a role for each of these young men, Joe and, and Alex. Uh, both have been tremendous leaders, and uh, then I think all of our players understand, you know, whoever that guy is, well, we're going to rally around that guy and uh, give us the best chance of winning football games this fall. So many outstanding receivers in this conference. Khalil, you know that from uh, being in those defensive mm -hmm. meeting rooms, but very impressed with, uh, with Alex Newts, touchdown maker. Young man that can find the end zone for you. Very much a security blanket for young quarterbacks. What's his growth and development been like, and what type of year are you expecting from Newt's to maybe be one of the premier receivers in this conference, if he isn't already, which he, I would say he's in that in that mm -hmm. conversation. Well, certainly is um, over a thousand yards receiving last year. He's only one of three players in the, ever in the history of our program to be able to, to accomplish that. Uh, but he's surrounded around uh, with a lot of great players. Alex makes all the catches he should and all the ones that most can't. Yeah. Brandon Oliver banged up all of last year, still averaged 117 yards a game rushing for you guys. Is he healthy, and what kind of spring, and where is he headed? Uh, he's healthy, all right, and he's eager to get back that uh, back into form. Uh, you know, we've returned three out of our five starting offensive linemen up right. front. Uh, four of our starting tight ends are all back, so um, he's got a great group of uh, players around him to help him accomplish what he wants to achieve. And he's only, uh, you know, probably about 600 yards away from yeah. breaking James Stark's uh, all-time career rushing record at the University of Buffalo. But a uh, great competitor, a young man that plays play one to play last the same way. You can't tell any difference with Brandon. Uh, when you're talking James Starks, too, as we know, all of you NFL fans, uh, some, one of the best of the best that ever uh, donned the uniform of the Buffalo Bulls. You have been consistent, Jeff Quinn. I know right from day one, you always said, we got to get we got to get stronger. We yeah. got to get tougher. We got to be able to uh, start to move people off uh, both sides of the ball on the line of scrimmage. Are you getting there with the type of strength and toughness in the trenches that you want to stylize your program around? Well, I think our strength and conditioning program headed up by Zach Duval has done an outstanding job. Our kids have taken advantage of it. We put on over 1,100 pounds of lean body mass on our football team. Mm -hmm. You know, that's over about 10 pounds uh, each young man. Uh, and they've been here all summer. And that was the place that we needed to go first uh, when I first got in here was the offensive line. Uh, you know, guys that really wanted to get after it. Now we're finishing blocks. We're latching on to defenders, and we're finishing playing and play out, and we're having that kind of mentality uh, that you need to have to compete at the highest level against the competition we face. That's tremendous. Let's take a look at the schedule, see what's coming up for uh, head coach Jeff Quinn and Khalil Mack and the Buffalo Bulls. So, so there's this trip to Columbus, Ohio that you guys start with right here on the ESPN Family and Networks. Khalil, you're smiling about that. You got that one red circle and starred oh, no doubt on your about bulletin it. board? No doubt about it. It's first yeah. game out. First game out against some of the best competition. We can't wait. And then Baylor, going down to Baylor, too. So uh, from the, going to the Big Ten and then uh, going and checking out things in the Big 12 as well. Listen, guys, we really look forward to seeing you this year. Jeff, you've done a tremendous job in building, building your football program. Keep it up. Great to see you. Thank you. Have an outstanding year. I'm Appreciate gonna give you the fist bump, right, Mr. Bet, Mack. Because right, huh? that's how you play. Yeah. Strong. <laughs> strong, very strong.